I had been eyeing the Trayvax Contour for a while before I actually picked it up, and what attracted me to it was the mix of metal and leather, creating a weird mix of modern design and machining, but also old-fashioned and rugged materials. Hello and welcome to our corner of the internet, my name is Maragos, and today we're going to be reviewing the Trayvax Contour. So let's dive into the specs real quick. So. On this wallet, you're going to be able to hold 1 to 13 cards, 1 to 10 folded bills. You're going to have Horween leather. It's RFID blocking, and you have a choice between stainless steel, brass, or titanium. And lastly, it wouldn't be EDC if it didn't have an integrated bottle opener. So let's dive into what I like about it, right? And as you can see here, the one that I have is the brass version because this is actually one of the pieces in my brass EDC video that's coming out. Um, but what I really like about the Trayvax Contour in general is just how unique it is. I mean, I haven't seen anything with a design even remotely close to this. I like how you have the large window in the middle to kind of see what cards are you have. It really gives it good visibility and it just the shape, the silhouette, the mix between le leather and metals. It's really cool. Even this closure right here is pretty unique in that you just pull down on it and then you snap it back in it's not really a snap it's more of being held in by the pressure of the cards which in order to adjust this they give you like a screw and you can just adjust it accordingly and move these leather straps in and out of the way um but it's just so darn unique and i, I especially like the little um, lanyard hole right here because it just adds a little bit more visual charm to um to otherwise still in a, a really interesting looking wallet so as I mentioned earlier, adjustment is actually really easy and I'm pretty certain that when you get this, unless you have like the perfect amount of cards, you're probably gonna need to adjust it. And thankfully they made it really easy. So they include like a little wrench or a little like, I guess like torque screwdriver um, in order to tighten and untighten the uh, screws that are here. And the way that you do that is you just pull, you unscrew it so you uh, give it a little bit of slack and then you kind of peel back the leather a bit until it's like the perfect size for you. And there are also some lines to help you guide yourself on the leather so you don't, you know, go too far or whatever. Um, but adjusting it is really easy and you can get a perfect fit for your cards. And I really do love how adjustable this is. Like I can really slim down my carry if I only want to carry a few cards or I can go complete maximalist and carry every single card that I might need. Uh, for example, if I'm going to be traveling somewhere, um, it really kind of adapts to what you need to carry. I really do like how easy it is to kind of sort through cards. So really, all you have to do is you take your thumb into this opening and I kind of just thumb through them. Um, you just need to be careful to not like lift multiple cards. So for example, you kind of want to hold it like this and then you can kind of like thumb through everything. But um, yeah, it's, it's really easy to, um, to kind of thumb through your cards. And I really do like the visibility. I mean, you have this large open window here in the front so you can see exactly what card you have, but also since there's like no no like closure, quote unquote, um, you can see like all the cards that you have on top. So I can somewhat kind of gauge which cards I'm gonna get to just by looking on the top here. Um, but if you have cards that look very similar, that might not be possible for you. The cash strap is really cool. And it's really just this leather that you see on the front. Um, and all you do is you kind of just peel it back like that. You put your cash in here and then you kind of just fold it over itself and it's held in through like, um, like I guess tension. Um, I really like the cash strap. It just looks cool. Um, and it's really fun to use in my opinion. So I also really like how durable it is. I mean, you don't only have like the leather, which is really durable in like a more like flexible soft goods way, but you've also got the metal here and you've got the choice of titanium, stainless steel or uh, brass. And that also gives it a ton of durability. Like, I feel like I can throw this at someone and do more damage to them than to the wallet. Um, you could also like drop it on the ground. I don't think that would harm the wallet at all. It may scratch it, but I think this is th this thing is built like a tank. And I think it's also backed by a pretty good warranty. Don't quote me on that, I'll have to check. So if we had to talk about things that I don't like about this wallet, one of the things is going to be, it's kind of hard to put the cards back in um, as you want them. So it's easy to kind of sort through cards and get the ones that you want, but if you want to put it back in the correct order, like let's say I wanted to put a card behind this front one, it might be a little harder. Um, and usually I just, I've had to kind of just say, forget it. I'm just going to put the, the card that I used last in the front. 
Um, and that spares me the time of sitting in front of like the cash register trying to fiddle my cards back into my wallet. So you might have heard me mention earlier that the cards are easily accessible, right? And that's true, but it does take a little bit longer to access your cards than traditional wallets. And that's because of course you've got this, this metal closure and the really thick leather on the back. The only way to really get to your cards is you have to thumb through them one by one. So it's easy, but it takes a little bit longer, if that makes sense. That can particularly be a concern if you're like standing in front of a cash register and you want to get out of line, but you're, you know, sorting through your cards and there's a long line of people. If you're self-conscious about that, maybe just keep that in mind. Um, but for me, I'm a really self-conscious person. It hasn't been too much of a problem. And lastly, this is not really a con yet, it's more of a concern. And I think Tradevax advertises this as a front pocket carry um, wallet. And I personally use it in my back pocket. And the only thing I'm concerned about is how it's gonna damage my pocket over time. Mainly because of this part that kind of juts out. Um, I'm just concerned, maybe it'll like uh, dig a hole in like the pocket of my jeans. That's honestly would probably be my fault because this is a front pocket carry wallet um but if you do want to carry this in your back pocket just keep that in mind i don't think it's going to be too much of a deal but um it is something that kind of concerns me we'll see in the future i guess the Travex contour is a really fun wallet to use and i i just love the design the uniqueness and the leather my only concern is that over time as the novelty of a new item wears out maybe I'll probably opt for something that's easier and quicker to use. But until then, I think I'll continue to admire the Travax Contour for its awesome craftsmanship, design, and materials. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you left a like, and if you really loved it, maybe consider subscribing. I make videos on bags, everyday carry, and tech, and if that sounds interesting to you, then you should definitely join. If you wanna see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at MaroGhost. I'll leave that link down in the description. But until then, I've been MaroGhost, and I'll haunt you tomorrow. Bye. Here we go.